Earlier this month, I had the absolute pleasure of welcoming a good buddy of mine, Gavin Hardcastle, photo tripper, to Ireland. Over the next number of weeks, join us for the fun and games that we had in this beautiful part of Ireland. Okay, no, recording, audio, audio, okay, perfect. <laughs> How will I do this one now? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, like I said, I was going to be in Donegal. And I've come to an iconic spot in Donegal, which is behind me, the Crahi Sea Arch. And also along the way, I found another icon. So, good buddy of mine, Gavin, Gavin Hardcastle is over in Ireland, and here he is here doing his mastery to his camera. But he's here now to see the beautiful areas of Donegal, and what a spot for us to start off with. As you can see here in the background, the light is quite bright but we do have a big bank of clouds, so it's gonna take down the light, but it's also going to stop any color. I think it will anyway, hopefully it doesn't, but nonetheless, I still think that this archway itself is phenomenal. I'm checking behind me here because even as the tide is going out, we are getting some pretty big waves. So there's definitely gonna be wave action. There's definitely gonna be a great subject to photograph. All I need now is the light. So yeah, that's what we're gonna to do today. Let's go. So I've set up my first composition here now um, with the stack and I've put it in the top left hand corner of the frame and it's rule of thirds basically but I've got these rocks in front of me with some unbelievable texture so I'm waiting for water now just to come in and rush over those. It is a challenge currently because the way the light is there it's really blowing out the right hand side of the screen so I'm going to use my filters, the Case Revolution filters and try and contain if I may the light that's up the right hand side here to enable me to be able to get my half a second uh, exposure. At the moment here, because it is so bright, I'm at F16, I want to bring that down, so I'm gonna put on my uh, six stop um, filter, and that will allow me then to be able to contain that light a bit more and get the shutter speed to half a second. What an incredible spot to be. What a great set of movement in the waves, and even with the waves going out, it's still really, really powerful. You have to have your wits about you. Even getting down here is a bit of a struggle, but on these rocks, they're obviously quite wet and slippery. So yeah, I'm going to pop this on here now. I'm gonna try and grab that shot. I'll give you a look at it there and then I'll talk to you when I find the next one. The light is, as you see here, coming back again, and it's giving us some really, really nice textures on the rocks. Now, as because the water is going out, I've had to move forward to go with the waves, but I'm waiting for a wave to come in. And what I've done is I framed up a shot with a gap of the rocks here below me. And as a wave will come in, it fills that area then with the flow of the water as it flows over. I think it's absolutely a stunning image. It's a challenge to get the shot because of the high dynamic range that we're dealing with, with this sun here. But I'm delighted to see the sun because I thought it was going to be gone behind those clouds. So yeah, this is the next shot that I've gone. Gavin has gone over now to another area over here and I'm going to follow him as well. And hopefully uh, we get rewarded. Again, fingers crossed, it kicks off because it's an incredible spot to start the trip. So Gavin has gone over that side here. I've decided just to hang tough here because there's some pretty big waves as you can see that are coming in. And what I'm doing is I'm framing the shot. You're not seeing the arch in the stack, but you are seeing the stack. And as this comes in here, I'm catching the shot as the water is breaking over this and then washing it in front of me. I'm going for my usual half a second, which allows me to be able to keep some of the motion and the texture in it, but also catch it as it does this and it cascades over the top of the rock and then fills this whole basin here below me. When there's no water there, 
it's just rocks. But when the water comes into it, it really, really fills it. The cloud now as well is starting to help out because it's removing the, um, the harshness that's in the shot. Now I also have to make sure that I'm constantly wiping the front of the lens because the camera is getting splashed, of course. You can see with the size of these waves, but these waves here are absolutely monstrous and its tide is going out and this is a calm sea. So you can imagine what it's like here when it's in heavy storm season. So yeah, I'm going to keep going here. It does seem to be getting a bit of color in the sky. I may stick with this. When the water goes out further, I might venture over to Gavin, we'll see. But yeah, let's see now how we get on. And these shots, I'll give you a look at them, but it's insane so far. So while I'm waiting for the water to go out, I put on my 10 stop and I went for a longer exposure. And as you can see with the water coming in here, it is absolutely phenomenal. It's given me some really, really nice shots, smoothing out all of that and capturing all the detail as the water then as well flows around here. So I'm going to venture over to where Gavin is now. And as you see here, I have the real star of Gavin's channel, which is Amanda. So I'm delighted now to show them both the beautiful parts of Ireland. I'm going to get over here now while the water's gone out. Hopefully we get a bit of light, although the cloud has seemed to appear. But yeah, I'll show you this now, and then we'll head over that way for the final shot, I think, of this shoot. If you're passionate about capturing the beauty of Ireland through your lens, then I've got some exciting news for you today. Now, if you're anything like me, you know that Ireland is a photographer's dream come true. From our rugged cliffs to our lush countryside, there's something truly magical about this place and just begs to be captured on camera. And that's where my photography location guides come in handy. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, these guides are a must-have for anyone looking to make the most of their photography journey in Ireland. And what's even more exciting is that for the entire month of September, I'm offering incredible bundle deals on these guides, allowing you to save up to a whopping 35%. Now imagine having all the insider tips, hidden gems at your fingertips, ensuring that you capture these breathtaking shots that truly stand out. Each guide is meticulously crafted, featuring exclusive map, tips and recommendations for the best angles, plus my YouTube videos to give you a taste of the area before you even set off. So here's the deal folks, if you're planning a photography adventure in Ireland, you won't find a better opportunity than this. And this bundle deals are a steal, and they're only available for a limited time. So click on the link in the description below to grab your bundle and an incredible discount and make this September a month to remember. Trust me, you won't want to miss out on these guides if you're serious about capturing the essence of Ireland through your lens. Now, I've come over here a moment ago here, handheld, and the idea that I wanted to try and do is frame up my shot before I introduce my tripod, which is something that I do on a regular basis. These rocks here are extremely slippery, so I have to be ultra careful. Now, I had the light tripod lower for the last, so I just need to bring it higher because where I framed up the shot was at head height. And by going head height, you're able to have these beautiful rocks that you see here in front. There's some great texture within them, and I'm getting separation between them as well and the sea stack. I'm also now as well seeing the arch back into the sea stack again, so that is a totally different composition to what I would have had over here, which is a much better composition if I'm being completely honest, but I just didn't want to get wet. Now, when I set this up here as well, similar to before, I'm going to frame it up that I have this um, arch on the left-hand side. I'm gonna use these rocks, but I'm gonna use the water as it comes in around them. And as you can see, there are pretty big waves coming in. So I just gotta make sure that I set this to my preferred, which is half a second. 
Now I still have my 10 stop on as well because I'm kind of rushing. I may not even need to have much of a filter on it because as you can see, it is quite dark. So I'm gonna check this now first of all and see, can I get this here? Actually I can, if I go to half a second and I go to F11, I might drop my ISO actually 250 here and now I can get this perfectly done. And all I gotta do is just take a quick test shot. And that is gonna be beautiful when the water is cascading over the front of these rocks. Right now they look completely dark, but this view of this arch is absolutely stunning. As the guy over my shoulder would say, tremendous or juicy, and it really, really is. So I'm going to wait here now for a wave to come in, cascade over these here, capture it at half a second and that I think will be an incredibly beautiful shot because it starts here and works its way right up to the arch. So I see a big wave that's coming in here. We'll wait actually here for this to come in. Hopefully if that comes in, I get it. There's another bigger one, bigger behind. And there's a bigger one as well behind that as well. So now we're getting two. So I'm gonna grab this one, two, grabbing these shots. That actually has come in over my feet, but oh yes, it is filling all of this area here and I'm just rattling shots off here, high speed. This water is coming in. It is absolutely stunning here. This is fantastic right now, these waves, and a third one as well coming in. So I'm still now just taking the shots here, multitude of shots, and each one is going to be different, and that's why I love seascape photography. So yeah, I've taken probably too many shots there. I'll give you a look at the good ones anyway here, and then we'll check back in again what we find next. So that was an absolutely epic evening. We didn't get some great light, but we got made up for it with this incredible wave action. The light is pretty much gone now, so we're about to finish up. Uh, Daryl, can I, uh, get just, you need me shot, can you just? Can I finish what I'm doing here first, do you well, mind? It's not really important, is yeah. it? I mean, it's just, how many people watch this video? Around four and a half. Yeah, and two of those are your parents. Correct, yes. So, and they only watch half of it, they don't watch the whole thing. Yeah, then the other one's the tax man. <laughs> <laughs> You're banned, you're shadow banned, tax banned, you're not allowed to watch, yeah. yeah. No, but serious, I mean, if you could just get Before I get out of your shot, I want to know, your first time shooting here, dude, what do you think? Oh, this is uh, absolutely spectacular. I could come back every day for the rest of the week. And get a different shot every single time. Well, just get just get good light, you know. I thought it was pretty good light. Yeah, uh, not, not epic light. No, right? it wasn't world-class light. So can you yeah. imagine that with world-class light? Unreal. That's, that's a book cover shot right there. But we're not going to tell anyone, did you tell anyone where this is? Uh, no, it's a kind of top secret. Nobody knows about this place. I just make up some bullshit name and put that in. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Hardcastle hard Cove. Yeah, <laughs> don't bother coming. So yeah, I'm delighted Gavin had a great time here in his first part in Ireland. Thank you very much for watching my episode. If you want to watch a real episode and see some real shots, you know, watch this guy's channel. His name is Gavin Hardcastle. Search. Photo Tripper. Is there a link in the description? And there's a link in the description oh, as well good. below. Oh, yeah. Man. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me. If you want to watch another episode, I recommend this episode here. And until the next time. Nobody knows. <laughs> it's long <laughs> Bye. Yeah.